For those of you that have been eagerly anticipating Eroica, well, you'll be happy to know that the game just launched. Before we jump right in, I do want to take a sec here to thank Divine Arena for sponsoring today's video. If being able to play a game anywhere, at any time, without the concern of being caught mid-dungeon or cutscene sounds good to you, then this game might be right up your alley. In which case, I urge you to go right ahead and click that link in the description and the pinned comment below because there are some sweet pre-registration rewards up for grabs right now. Gold, a replica box, Mystic Soul Stone, an artifact box, plus we have a unique coupon code for some sick extras. Now Divine Arena is a vertical type multiverse idol RPG. It features the ability to not only recruit, but to also engage gods in combat from a variety of different mythos, with new gods introduced into the game every month. This game was so popular when it launched that it topped the Google Play Store charts, rocketing all the way to number one during the entire first week of its release. You will not be bored in-game. You can collect incredibly powerful gods, you can engage enemies in a real-time combat system, you can strategize with your heroes, and you can participate in various different game modes. If this sounds good to you, then go ahead and click that link in the description of the pinned comment below and get ready to claim your rewards and to also command an epic army of gods. Now, I, I know next to nothing about this game other than the fact that there were a lot of people on Reddit that were apparently looking forward to playing it. I, I'm i genuinely surprised by how good the game looks, at least from the images that I can see here. Adventure journey across the continent of Ariger with Arkham. A fascinating story. The more you look, the more you fall in love. Well, I mean, you know, when your waifus look like that, it's understandable. Battles with reliable call. You know what? Just looking at this, based off of what I've seen, what I, what I can see thus far, this kind of reminds me a lot of Epic 7, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, this game, it literally just launched. It is currently downloadable, playable right now via the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store. It's sitting at 4.7 stars out of 6,500 reviews. Already has over 50,000 downloads. It is at 4.3 stars on the Apple App Store. Admittedly, it only has 51 ratings. That's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit disconcerting <laughs> to the scene here, but this is a, a waifu gacha collection anime RPG that just launched. Admittedly, you know, it, it looks graphically, aesthetically, it, it, like, I want to say it looks decent, but at the same time, Like, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Does this look like something you might be interested in playing? I feel like this this is kind of like a low-end, lower quality budget game. I don't know. Anyway, I know there are a lot of people that were interested in playing it. I figured I'd let you guys know. There aren't a lot of people that are even aware that the game is launched, so go ahead, try it out if you're interested. If not, I mean, you could always go over and play Tower of Fantasy that also launched in the last couple days and has done incredibly well.